Welcome back fellow coders. In today's video, I'm going to guide you through another Kata tutorial. So let's get started. In today's video, I'm going to guide you through the highest scoring word, which was a small request that I got. And um, so let's get right into it. We're going to be doing this in Java. So we are given a string of words and we need to find the highest scoring word. Each letter is going to be a, score, uh, a, a point and they're telling us that we are starting at A is going to be one point, B two points, C three points, and so on. And we need to return the highest scoring word as a string. If two words are the same, then we don't need to worry about the latest one. We need to return the first one. All the letters will be lowercase and all inputs will be valid. So let's hit the train button here. And the first thing we're going to do is going to create this in our IntelliJ editor. So we'll copy that. We'll create a new class here. And I'm going to call it highest I'm actually going to copy just the method. And we'll also come down here and create a test for that class. We'll paste that and we'll have to change the class name here. There we go. I just don't like having those default values. They're so uh, simple, like kata and solution. I don't like to have the classes in this project a little bit more descriptive. Okay, so we have set our class, our test class here is ready. And okay, so let's begin by running some comments here on what we need to do. The very first thing is that we need to split the main string, right? And we can do that with a string array. Let's call it words. And we're going to be splitting by space. We can put a breakpoint here and return. And it tells you if you do Control Shift T, you can go to the test. And we're going to do debug. If we go down here to our words array, we can see that the string has been, um, this string right here has been split accordingly. And so we can stop that. So in order for us to see which word is the highest value we have to go through a, a for loop right 
Um, you can go through these with a for loop or a for each. I'm going to use a for each. I'll write a comment here. So right off the back, I know that I'm going to need at least a few more variables here. One of them is going to keep track of our max value. And the other one is going to give us our highest value string. And we'll just call that highest string. Highest value string. I will leave that empty for now. So here, we'll have to loop through all of the words, right? So we'll use a temporary value here that is going to give us our value of the word. I will pass it the war and we'll pass it the one parameter and that's going to be the war itself. We'll add another comment here. And we want to check if that value is greater. So we're going to start with a value of zero as the max value. So the first one's automatically going to go in here. We'll sign tem value to max value. And we'll also assign the highest string to our current word. Finally, down here, we will return our highest value string. And sorry for my missed semicolons. I've been doing a lot of Python lately, making me a little bit lazy. So, this is really all we need for our function. Um, we split the words, then we go through each word and calculate the, the value of each word. So the last thing we need to do is to actually write our word value method, which is going to calculate the value of each word. And so we go down here and we write a comment here for us. A equals one. We'll turn zero for now to avoid that error. So we're going to need an uh, integer to store our value here. And we can do this two ways. We can do a for loop and a for each. Um, I'm going to use a for each. And 
and this method actually converts our string to a character array and lastly we need to actually process that character into a value now with characters that can be casted into an int and it will give you the ascii value but the ascii values are not exactly what we need um, and i can show you here a equals 97 b equals 98 and so on so we need some kind of offset right so let's just let's just do a quick test and see what we're working on so value we'll cast our character And let's actually print that out see what it's looking like right before here we'll do a test and we'll call it word value and let's just say something like hello world And actually we need all lower cases all right control shift T we were on the debug And it looks like it's calculating uh, we'll say we did all of them let's just actually comment this out and I'm just gonna run it So it looks like it's adding here. Let's actually take this plus off and run that same test again so you can see the ASCII value and there we go these are actually ASCII values we can do another word here that we're more so we can know for sure so let's just say So we should see a 97 there at the beginning and we do so let's add our addition here again take this print out you can comment this test or or delete it it doesn't matter and we'll, we'll comment this again now there's one thing left to do here uh, when we're adding this we don't want a 97 we want a number one if it's an a so we have to add an offset and uh, you can add a constant for that offset um, but in this case we don't need that constant again so we can just safely subtract by 96 lastly we want to return our value 
to actually test it. So we can run this code again. And as you can see, everything passed. So what we can do now is we can take this We can take what's inside this class, because remember, we name it differently. So we can just copy those two methods. We can run the same sample test. And we have passed the sample test. And lastly, we can attempt, which will give us a few more random tests and everything passed. So I hope you learned a few things today. You learned a few things like splitting a string, how to get the ASCII value in Java of a character, and this was a pretty nice kata. Um, it's been completed by a lot of people, but Nevertheless, it's uh, something that a lot of people should know how to do, working with strings. So stay tuned. In the next video, we're going to look at another kata. And I'm actually trying to decide whether to do harder katas, like uh, four, maybe threes. I haven't done many threes, to be honest. Uh, but it's something that I'm going to need to do if I want to rank up. And uh, the thing about doing the highest cut, the highest uh, levels is then you have to plan more and you have to actually sit down and design your solution before you even get to coding. Um, so we'll see, but stay tuned for more. Thank you for watching.